If you're someone who loves your parents just because, please don't comment this video to hate on me because this video is just not meant for you. This video is meant for all those people who, like me, have felt guilty for all these years for not loving their parents just because we just did not have that feeling for them inside because we were abused, manipulated, gaslighted. Gaslighted? No, it's gaslit, right? Yeah, I think it's gaslit. So, this is for all those people who've dealt with abuse, trauma, whatever it is in their childhood and just don't feel like they have that connection with their parents. So if you're one of them, welcome, I feel you and you've been feeling guilty for so long, way too long and you don't need to feel guilty anymore. The thing is when I started to go to therapy a long time ago, I started going there because of my breakup with my ex and because I had in my mind, I just thought that he was the one who abused me and who did all these nasty things to me and manipulated me and all that. And when my therapist started asking me all these questions about my parents, we found out that they manipulated and abused me and everything as well. I just was not as aware that what happened in my household was not normal. So, because I was, I just thought it was normal that you could hit your kids every once in a while or that you could just like beat them up when you felt like, mm, when my dad just felt like his work was too much and he would just like use us as punching bags. He's always had a lot of anger issues and he has always used us, especially me being the eldest, um, as punching bags, not in the literal sense of like he punched me, like he's never gone that far, but it's been bad and my mom has always had her issues. I mean, both of them have their issues with their trauma and they've never decided to fix it. So for the longest time, I just felt guilty because when my therapist first asked me like, Aiden, do you love your parents? I was like, I'm just in my head, I was just like, you need to say yes, like, that's obvious. And with the moment I just like, it was in silence and my therapist looked at me, he was like, you can say no. Like, it's completely normal to not feel anything for them. And I was like, wait for real? And he's like, yeah, sure, of course. Like, that's, like, they did not treat you correctly. So it's normal that you don't feel that connection with them. Like, and that statement literally changed my life because the whole, all the guilt that I had carried in myself for so many years just like disappeared. Maybe, maybe not instantly, but like it started disappearing and I stopped feeling as bad as I did. Because I feel like we live in a world where, or at least, the previous previous generations used to always say like you need to respect your parents and honor them and this and this and that and I don't say anything of that is wrong I feel like we need to have certain respect to people who are older than us but not always and that does, it doesn't need to be something that people look down on you if you say like I don't love my parents or I don't have a relationship or if I don't know because I see like so many old people for example who are like super disrespectful to the rest of the world and they're like yeah but because i'm old you need to respect me and it's like no you did not earn my respect so i don't need to respect you and with that i don't mean that you need to like purposely disrespect them but like you also don't need to treat them a certain way just because they demand respect you know what i mean it's like that's something that I especially see with older people you know with like grandparents who are like no but you need to treat me with the respect because i'm older and it's like yeah but have, being a certain age does not mean that you actually use all that time to learn because that's the thing like usually the age that you have comes with a certain level of maturity but some people just decide not to do the work during their lives and it's just with grandparents also parents like they may live for like 50 years like my parents are 55 and something else 55 and when I was 52 I think and they have lived 50 years on this planet and decided not to heal themselves and not to do the work and so that means that I don't need to have like more respect for them just because they're that age. I would have more respect for them if they actually decided to heal their trauma before maybe they had me or at least during the time because I'm not saying that any parent is perfect and I'm not saying that any parent should be perfect because that does not exist, like perfection just doesn't exist. And I know that if I ever am a parent, I'm gonna be far from perfect, but at least I am the kind of person who always looks at what she does and tries to better themselves every day. And every time I do something wrong and someone tells me like, look, you did this and this hurt me and whatever, I will go back, I will apologize and I will be like, okay, I'm gonna do better next time. The thing with toxic parents usually is that they don't know how to do that. Like both my parents, I mean, no, no psychologist has ever diagnosed them with narcissistic personality disorder, but my psychologist, my therapist did tell me that they both had a lot of narcissistic tendencies, but he was like, I'm not their therapist, so I cannot tell you 100% sure, but they sound like narcissists, like both of them. Um, 
and he even told me that I had narcissistic tendencies as well. And he said, like, you, you, I can see that in you, like, you control them a lot. So don't even worry about that. You have them, but they don't, like, guide your life. And you're very, like, you're a very introspective person. So you question everything. So don't even worry. It's not going to affect you in the long term. Just, like, be aware of that. But just know that you come from that family. And that's something that's been ingrained in your brain since you were, like, two or three. So, like... Don't blame yourself for that, just like keep on working on yourself and that's fine. But the thing with them is that the problem with narcissistic people, especially my dad, because especially my dad, like he's the most, like the person who thinks like he's just right, like he is God and like everything that he says is just like perfection and anything something else, someone else says is just like trash. So whenever I might question him and be like, hey, like maybe you're not right in this or maybe you should question why you act this way because i try i know that as a because i feel like that's something that maybe a lot of us do like if we've done like some kind of healing work and then you try to talk to your parents and you kind of have this need to also get them to do their own inner work and that's something that's just not in our control that's something that has taken me so much time to learn because i'm the most impatient person ever and i've like i see them and i see that they're like i feel like deep down they are good people they are both good people and they love me and they love my sisters but they just don't express it in a healthy way at all but kind of like coming to terms with the fact that i didn't love them for a while and even telling them that like look i just realized that i don't feel this way about you and you might say that you love me but i feel like you don't love me in the right way so i feel like that is not the correct kind of love because i feel like if you are a parent and you love your children you should try to show them in a way where they feel loved, especially if I communicate with them. Because if I wouldn't communicate it, like this makes me feel loved and this doesn't, then I understand that they don't know how to love. But I have, like when I've gotten older, I've, try I've tried to communicate with them and be like, hey, this is what I need from you and this is something that I feel like is manipulative, this is not good, this is toxic. And they will be like, no, but this is how people have done this for years. And it's like, okay, but can you just please question for like one second that maybe things are changing, like maybe things need to be different or maybe what you thought was correct is now not correct anymore, you know? But it's hard, I do have to say that it's hard. And yeah, it's just like one of those really weird things where when you don't feel that connection to your family, it's just weird because at the moment, for example, like now, right now I just moved back in with them because of like work situation, life situation and everything. And I'm gonna be here for the next few months. And right now I've come to a point where I just like, I can tolerate them and I can talk with them about certain things. But if, for example, we start talking about my past or our past, I, there was a point when I was 18, no, not 18, 19 or 20 more or less, I, I filed a report against my dad. Uh, that's a whole other story that I can explain in another video, but I had to file a report against my dad because I decided to leave my house and I decided to leave home to just go live with my boyfriend at the time because the situation at home was just like unbearable with like yelling, manipulation, hitting and just everything and and he came after me and he came to the place where I used to work and basically threatened me and threatened me in front of my boss being like no I'm gonna take you back home whether you like it or not even though I was overage so he had literally no control over me but he was like no if you don't want to come by your own will, I'm gonna take you against your will. And it was like, that's probably the day where I've been the most scared of my entire life. But, so my boss was like, you need to call the police because if not, he's not gonna leave you alone because this man just thinks that he's God or whatever. So you need to just do that. So I had to file, well, do the whole thing, file a report against him, blah, blah, blah. And there was not enough proof. He never hit me and left a mark. So that's something that you, here in Spain especially, it's the one, here in Spain especially, it's like if they don't even look into what psychological like manipulation or psychological abuse is. I don't know if this is something that in the States or in other countries they might take into account, but here they just, they don't know. They don't even know that that's a possibility. So even though I like, I got to the point where I felt so afraid for my life that I had to file a report against my dad, to this day, sometimes we will be talking about something different and then my dad will bring up the topic of like, yeah, because you filed a report against me so many years ago. And how would you, what do you think that makes me feel as a dad that you did this when I never hit you, when I never did this? And sometimes they even, sometimes they even say like they never hit me. Like for a while they even said like, no, we never hit you, we never like manipulated you, we never did this, we never did that. And that is just like so frustrating for someone who's gone through that because you start thinking that you're crazy. I'm lucky to have had two sisters because at least like 
okay? Sometimes I ask them things and like, this happened, right? Like, I'm not crazy. And she's like, and my sister's like, no, no, don't worry, this happened. Because my memory keeps on getting worse and worse when time goes by. And I feel like because of trauma, a lot of people have told me, like, because of trauma, you tend to forget things because your brain just is trying, it's just trying to protect you. So with the years, it's like, sometimes my mom tells me things and I'm like, I don't even remember that happening. It was maybe like four years ago or like six years ago. And I'm like, no, do not remember that. So yeah, it's come to a point right now where I just tolerate them. I live in the same house as them, but I've just realized like I don't need to feel anything for these people because I I don't need to feel anything for these people, and I also don't owe them anything. And that's something that you need to remember and remind yourself of is like you don't owe your parents. Shit. Like the fact that they decided to bring you into the world is their responsibility, and that they try to make you feel guilty for a thing that is like when I gave you food, I gave you shelter, and I gave you education, and this and that is like all these things are the bare minimum that a parent needs to do. Like if you're not gonna bring a child into this world to give them all these things for it to be able to sustain himself on his own, what the fuck are you doing? You know, like that's not a parent. That's not a good parent. And I understand that certain things are like it depends on like class that you're coming from or the country that you're coming from that you're limited i understand that but if you're not willing to do the bare minimum for your child and just give that to them freely without making them feel guilty about it just like don't have children like that's something that i've realized with time is that i would never like having gone through what i've gone through is like i would never have children if i didn't feel like i was ready and that i could support them and that i want to do all of that selflessly because i feel like at the end of the day the love that your parents usually should have for their children should be selfless and it should be unconditional and if it's not that's not love because some things for one of the things for my mom used to do a lot is that she would get us christmas presents my mom's love language has always been gift gifts and presents and she would spend so much money on christmas and birthdays and whatever and she would get me the most expensive and amazing things but then if the week after i told her that i was hanging out with this one friend that she did not like for me she was like oh if you're hanging out with this friend i'm gonna take this gift back from you so she basically manipulated me to do whatever she wanted me to do instead of allowing me to just have free will and not a friend who was like into drugs or anything it was just a friend that she decided to hate for whatever reason because my mom also decided to just hate on random people because that's just how she is but yeah i just wanted to make this video because i know that a lot of people think that they owe their parents something just because your parents are trying like they're constantly making you feel guilty for existing they're making you feel guilty because they have to do so much for you and it's like no 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 you decided to bring me into this world so please just don't come and complain to me about your bad decisions and you not being responsible because you you're not responsible for all of that you're not responsible for their pain and their pain comes from whatever trauma they did not decide to heal and that's not on you that's on them but also don't try to fix them because i've realized that i just can't i try like i try to have conversations with them where i'm like trying to plant little seeds here and there and sometimes my mom seems to kind of like see certain things but then the whole progress that i thought i made with her she it just goes away because i feel like having had the childhood and the trauma that i had i tend to go and try and fix people and that's something that i try to do with my parents because i know that if i manage to fix them like everything will be fixed but at the end i just realized like i just need to work on myself fix myself which i have been working on doing for the past years and i just hope that eventually they will want to do the work by themselves on their own and all of that i just wanted to film this video because i felt alone for so long and i felt like I was like I was a monster for not loving them or for feeling that I did not even want to spend a minute of my day with them. Like I would make up excuses all the time to just go into my room and study or do homework even when I didn't have to do anything just because I did not want to be around them because I was like being around them is pain and I just don't want that. And I felt guilty for like the longest time and I like, just needed that to stop. And the moment someone told me this, I was like, thank God, I'm not a cr I'm not crazy. Thank God, like this is like normal. So yeah, this was just like a little reminder in case you're going through something similar. I just don't want anyone else to feel the way that I felt alone and just like I was guilty and that I was a weirdo for not feeling anything for my parents. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and comment below if you're going through something similar because if you are and you need a friend to listen to you, I'm here. I'm more than happy to listen to whatever you're going through. And if you like this kind of content or you want similar content, let me know because I'm more than happy. I'm just like still starting out. I'm thinking of ideas of what I want to post on the channel and I'll see you guys next week.